Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you have all been well. So today's video is about this look right here. I'm actually about to head out the door, but as I was getting ready, I was like, might as well turn the camera on and chat with you guys and show you how I get just a basic pretty look like this. I also took you guys through my eyeliner tutorial. Lately, I've just been really loving looks with no eyeshadow whatsoever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching and let's just jump into it. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to first prime my face with this nature -y skin conditioning gel and this is my first time using it. This is a Japanese product and I actually did a haul on everything I picked up a little while ago and if I remember correctly, this product is supposed to be contain as much water as possible and you're supposed to be able to use it as a base and like an all over moisturizer. It does feel really nice. Wow, it feels like water on your skin, that's crazy. It's like just a little bit more thick than water. Wow, I also feel like you guys are super close there, so sorry about that. I don't prime often, but I have a sample here that I've been using. This is a Dr. Brandt Pores No More <coughs> Primer. I'm sorry, it's like whenever I talk, a cough comes up. And it comes out like this. It's It has a slight color to it. I'm just gonna put it in my large pores area and when you blend it out, like the color dissipates, you don't see it anymore. And I like this, like I used it a couple of days ago, but then I looked for the full size on Sephora and it's $45 and I just will not pay that. Maybe I'll pick it up during the 20% off sale, but $45 for a primer, I just can't. And then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Pro Glow. And we're gonna do something really simple today, just wing liner, lashes, and then I'm thinking like a purple lip. I'm gonna take my brush from Eloise Beauty. You guys know it's my fave, and we're gonna work this into the skin. like the 28th of February it's pretty late in the month and my birthday is next weekend my birthday is March 3rd and <laughs> originally we thought that we were gonna be out processing on time and we might be back in the States by my birthday but we're not we're totally gonna be leaving here the end of March because we're like really behind so we might be getting into England the beginning of April or the far end of March because we're taking the leave in route. We are going to go visit my parents in Oregon for like a week and then we're gonna go see CJ's mom in Virginia for like a week as well. Okay, so that's a layer foundation and it's pretty full coverage. I still have everything showing through on my cheeks. For some reason, my cheeks have a lot of pigmentation and breakouts lately. It's like when I stop wearing makeup, I always break out later. If I keep doing like makeup and skincare every day my skin stays relatively more clear than when I just like stop wearing makeup because I think I stopped taking care of my skin because I'm like nothing's on it I can just get away with a toner and I stop doing my full routine I need to stop doing that because it definitely shows because my skin gets really bad when I don't wear makeup for a couple of days so I'm gonna try and cover up my acne with this Kat Von D concealer cream I'm just gonna build this on there and I'm gonna let it sit and kind of dry so I can kind of maintain as much coverage as possible. I'm just gonna blend that all out with my Real Techniques sponge. And I'm really just pressing it into the skin. I'm not trying to move it anywhere. I'm just pressing it in. I'm going to highlight under my eyes using the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain. I'm going to set on my concealer using this Dermablend Translucent Powder. Hey. 
it literally won't cover up. I put like a ton of concealer on it. And I guess it's just like still producing oil. Gross. And it's not covering up. I'm just gonna set it all with powder. And hope that stops the oil and I can cover it maybe on top of the powder. I'm gonna set the rest of my face using this Rimmel translucent powder. I'm going to do my brows off camera because we would be here for 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, so I did super thin brows today. I don't know, I kind of just went with my natural brow more and didn't overdraw and reshape as much as usual. So let me know what you guys think. I still don't know what I think. We're gonna see and we're gonna press. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eye using some translucent powder just so I don't crease at all during the day. Since I'm not doing eyeshadow, I kind of just want to set this and make it a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my liquid liner. So usually I do my cat eyes and I kind of bring it up this way, but lately I've been doing it more out and I really like it. It's a lot more dramatic because I feel like when you do it up, it kind of goes with the shape of your eye, but when you do it out, it kind of gives your face a new shape. So that's what I'm gonna do. Take my Kat Von D Trooper. And I'm gonna pull it out. And then I'm just going to kind of go like two thirds of the way up and bring it back on. And you guys kind of like dramatic liner like this or intense heavy wing liner, it takes time and practice. <laughs> Not a lot of people are up for it, but I really like it. I like the drama, the simple drama that comes with it. So I'm just gonna fill it in. Okay, so there we have a one. Now the tricky part <coughs> is getting the same angle on the other eye. Usually I do this eye perfectly and then this one ends up looking really off. This one I actually tend to go a little more up. It's how I <coughs> angle my eyeliner, so. That's not bad. And then I'm just gonna go out of here. And this works out perfectly because a couple of you asked for a eyeliner tutorial and here we go this is just how i do it so i would say that <laughs> you can do as much as you want kind of under here because you can clean it up with concealer but when you're whenever you're working on top of the eyeliner you have to be a lot more careful because it's really hard to go back in and fit, fix the top with concealer without completely screwing up your eyeliner. So when you're working on top, you have to be super careful. When you're working on the bottom, you can relax a little bit because you can always clean everything up. And I always keep my eye partially open because you want, you want this line on top as smooth and gradual as possible. So that's my eyeliner. It's pretty solid right now, actually. Um, I'm gonna go in from the top on this side just a little bit more because you can see how this side is pretty pointy and then this side tapers more. I'm gonna go in and make this a little more pointy. Okay, and even though they look pretty good and I wouldn't have to, like I don't have to clean up with concealer right now, I'm going to do it anyways because I just always do it no matter how great they look. I always clean up with concealer just because I like the brightness underneath the, the cat eye and it does help to get it more sharp 
so I always do it no matter how satisfied I actually am with it. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna use my brush and I'm just gonna go along the bottom. And then I always kind of just blend the concealer back out into my skin. And I'll put some powder over it to blend it all out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with some mascara and then put on falsies and I will be back. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe away all this extra powder. And I actually made the mistake of a couple of times just like letting it sit there, but then when I put anything on top of it, it acted like super weird. So I'm really gonna make sure that I buff or like swirl it into my skin or buff it off my face. And also I was cream contouring for a little bit, but I noticed that like sometimes when I was blending it, my bronzer and stuff, like I had like a circle there, it wasn't covering well. Like when I buffed it into my skin, it started like skipping. And so now I'm back to all powders. <laughs> We're actually going to my friend's birthday today. And since I decided to do such a simple look, we're going to be leaving on time, so <laughs> who am I? To begin my facial sculpting process, I'm going to go in with my NYX blush in shade Taupe and my NARS Eda brush. It's a really sharp, flat brush. And I'm just going to define I know people either love or hate this brush. I personally love it. I find that it's super easy to work with. You just have to watch your angles because since it's so um, defined and precise, if you're off just a teensiest bit, you can definitely show. So now I'm just really like buffing and blending that up. I'm not going to dip back into the product. I'm just going to buff and blend. I'm going to take this around the outer perimeter of my face. And I like using this cool tone first because it really mimics a natural shadow. And then I always bronze on top to actually give me color and warmth. But this does a really good job at giving your face dimension again after you've already done all your whitening with all your foundation. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever bronzer and my small contour brush from MAC and just go right over that contour and blend it out and add some warmth right on top of it. I go down a lot lower with my bronzer on my forehead. And I'm just gonna take some time and just like blend it all. Never be too blended. <clears throat> I need to take my own advice sometimes and just keep blending. Sometimes I do not blend my facial products as much as I should. Eyeshadow, I think I'm pretty good, but sometimes I can just, okay, that's enough on the face, too soon. Okay, so I put some concealer back over that pimple because I'm still working on hiding it. I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. I'm not doing anything on my lower lash line because I kind of, I've been really liking the youthful effect of having nothing down there and just big lashes. It gives my face like a facelift. Today I'm going to highlight with my one and only, this is MAC Soft Frost. I just can't get enough. And I always bring it <clears throat> right above the arch of my brow too, so like when you turn your head, it just hits in a really pretty way. For my blush today, I'm going to kind of keep it under control since I'm going in with a purple lip. So I'm going to use NARS Madly. It's kind of just like a rose. So now for my lips, I'm going to go in for a, I think it's called Mood. It's Dose of Colors Mood. It's a really, it's like a wearable sangria purple berry color so I'm gonna outline with MAC Night Moth first. Okay you guys so this is my finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and mist with a setting spray. And this is my finished looks, just some berry lips and huge lashes and intense wing liner. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.
And I think what's best about these compared to other face sheets that I've tried is they are so rich. They're like drenched in the serum that they put in here. So when you put it on, you smell it, you feel it, it 